Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts DIY, and today I want to show you how to install the worms in the two bucket worm composter. I've got a DIY video where I show you how to make this. Welcome back to our subscribers. If you're not part of the family, you can join us by clicking on the Green Shorts icon that will appear in the bottom right hand corner throughout the video. You can literally do this in about 10 minutes. A couple simple steps, and it's also really inexpensive. I use two buckets a little bit of old screen. You can buy some new screen patches for a couple bucks. Not a lot of money goes into this. And the beauty of these kind of systems is that even though they don't have a lot of capacity, you get a five gallon bucket that's you know five gallons of compost, you can make multiples. And as your worm colony grows, you can transfer those worms into your other bins. For this project, you'll need rainwater, some newspaper, and some kitchen scraps. I've also got a glove for handling the worms, my two bucket worm composter ready to go, as well as 500 composting worms. I'm actually only going to use half of them for this worm bin. I've actually made two and I'll be installing the other 250 in the second bin. I'm actually going to count each worm by hand to make sure that they're evenly divided between the two bins. Just kidding. I always order my worms online from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. You can find a link to their website below, as well as a 10% off coupon. Full disclosure, I don't make any money off that coupon. I just love the quality worms Uncle Jim always sends me. First, we'll shred our newspaper, soak it in the rainwater, and then line the bottom of the top bucket. Now that we've got a nice layer of wet down newspaper here on the bottom, we'll add the worms. The worms arrive from Uncle Jim, shipped in dry peat moss. I put them into a holding bucket and then add a little water to rehydrate them, as per instructions. The worms had a little wait time in the bucket, so I put in some bedding and some food to hold them over. I just moved the bedding into the worm composter and then grab half of the peat moss and worms and make the transfer. Now we'll add our vegetable scraps. Since this is such a large batch, I'm actually gonna add it in two layers. I'll put half the strawberries down, do another layer of cover, and then add the second half. When you're adding food scraps to your worm composter, there's no need to soak the newspaper. Simply add it dry and then sprinkle water to wet. Once I got one layer covered up, I'm gonna put in the rest of these. Some of these are whole strawberries here that got a little rotten before we could eat them. And so I'm actually gonna squeeze these out just to make them smaller. The worms can get a head start on that. Now another medium you can use for the worm's bedding is corrugated cardboard. Here I've got some sides of pizza boxes that I've used the larger pieces for another project. And so I'm just gonna wet these down as well. Using a food grade uh, cardboard, something that was used to contain food like this pizza box is better than maybe using a shipping box, especially if it's got a waxy coating on it. This is also going to be something the worms can break down. I'm just going to soak this down in the water here. Let that soak a little bit longer just because it's got more layers to wet down. The worms love the, the spaces in between these layers of OSB here. Make their homes in there, legs in there. And every time you put in more scraps, you want to cover it with newspaper, paper towels, napkins, or cardboard. 
um, and that's going to help keep any odor down. So we're just going to stick the top bucket in the bottom bucket. It's always important to understand why we do things. And for composting, it's to do two things. We're reducing what we put in our trash, and if you're composting correctly, you can reduce your trash by up to 80%. And we're also turning those waste products or perceived waste products into valuable things. In this case, compost tea, which is a rich organic liquid fertilizer, and worm castings, which is the solid form of that organic fertilizer produced by the worms. Put the lid on and we're done until it's time to add more vegetable scraps to this worm composter. Now, if you bought something like this, on the internet, it would probably cost you $100, $120. So you can save a lot of money by building something like this yourself. If you haven't seen our DIY video yet, you can click the link up here to get to that video. And this system is gonna cost you probably uh, under $15, and maybe even less than that if you can find the buckets for free. So let me know in the comments below if you've had success building this system or if you've run into any problems or any other questions you might have. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green. And save a little green, or in this case, a lot of green, by doing it yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like and share, and subscribe for new videos every Friday.